I am making asparagus soup. I am going to teach you the way a chef makes asparagus soup at home. I love asparagus soup and I love really good tasting asparagus soup and I love it easy. So I'm going to teach you exactly how to turn this into the best asparagus soup you've ever had and you might actually want to teach people how to make it. Okay, we're going to start off by cutting off the ends of our asparagus. I don't know if you guys have seen the ends of an asparagus, but when you do this, what you do is you just hold your asparagus and let it break wherever it breaks. And this is called the wood. So you want to put the wood aside into a bowl like this. And again, I'll show you. I'm just going to hold it, let it snap where it snaps, and that is going to give you a good piece and it's going to get the wood off. So typically this works almost every time. Um, you can do a couple at a time. However, I'm doing in my particular soup, I will have just one, one bunch. These are really big, by the way. Beautiful asparagus. Now I have a couple tricks that nobody ever does and no one's ever gonna tell you. One of my tricks is I roast my asparagus tips and I, I roast about this much of the asparagus while I'm making the stock because this makes my asparagus taste really good and it's super easy. So all I'm gonna do, take a little bit of the olive oil right here. As you can see, And this, I'm just gonna drizzle a little bit over, kind of go like this to get everybody involved. Everybody get some happy oil, happy oil, happy oil. All right, okay. And then, I like a little salt and a little pepper. in an oven at 350 for about 20 to 30 minutes. So it'll be roasting while we're making our stock. For the stock, it's also very simple. We're going to use this. We're going to use the celery and carrots, and I'll show you in just a second. Okay, for this soup, the difference that you're gonna see as opposed to the chicken soup is this soup is going to be made with the roux. And with the sauces, the mother sauces, we made the roux with the sauce. We are gonna make the roux separately and we're going to make the sauce separately. So we're gonna make the stock separately and then the soup. So that's one of the differences you'll see. I'm gonna take one tablespoon of oil, of olive oil, a nice olive oil, I'm gonna get that nice and hot. I'm gonna take the ends of the asparagus. I'm gonna take the ends of celery, carrot, and I had some onions, green onion ends, so I'm gonna throw that in. For, for the soup, for the stock, you don't really need to worry about the size. You don't need to worry about peeling it. You're gonna discard all that. You just wanna get all the flavor out of these. So that's what you're looking for on these. And I know I failed to tell you that on the chick chicken recipe, I apologize. I also forgot to tell you to strain your bones. Hopefully this one, I won't miss anything. Okay, so this is gonna saute for about three, three minutes or so, and you're just opening and releasing all the flavors out of your vegetables. Okay, it's been sauteing for probably three to five minutes. Now I have my, this is vegetable stock. I'm gonna put in one cup, actually two cups. One bouillon cube is equal to eight ounces of stock. So if you have bouillon cubes and you use two bouillon cubes, um, that's two cups of stock. So if you use base, one teaspoon of base is equal to one cube, bouillon cube, which again is one cup of water. I have two teaspoons in this, which is going to be two cups of water. That 
ratio works for chicken base and beef base as well as vegetarian base. So you're gonna let that simmer probably, I would say 10, 15 minutes. Okay, while that is back on the stove simmering, we're gonna make our roux in this pan. And we're gonna take a peek at these guys. Yummy! Oh, they look like they're almost ready. So let me show you. Maybe two or three minutes, maybe. Put the timer on so I don't space out. Because I space out a lot. Okay. Now we're going to do the roux. Roux! You guys remember? It's two tablespoons of butter. Just like that. Not too, not too hot. Now remember we're making the roux separate from the soup, which is perfectly fine, and that's what we do in the industry all the time. We make a big, huge pile of roux, we put it to the side, and we use it as we need it. But the roux has to be made right to do that. So now we're going to put our two tablespoons of flour. Excuse my reach. Two tablespoons of flour. consistency of your roux. It is a nice smooth consistency here. This is a beautiful looking roux. I'm going to let it cook a little bit on the burner. But we can add this directly to our soup and it will come out. Believe it or not, you won't have any roux balls. Just follow these directions and you'll be perfectly fine. So my stock is getting a little salty because it's reducing down. And I'm not real happy with salty stock. So what I plan on doing now is putting about a half more cup water. So my roux is ready. My stock is almost ready. And voila! Look at those babies. Okay, so when you chop your asparagus, you want to leave some nice pieces. So go for about one to two inches. Just like that. And that's gonna be really a delicious something to bite into. It's got a little char on it. Mmm, it's really delicious. Now we're going to blend the stock. So there's the stock. So your soup should look very much like this, pulpy. So we're gonna strain that. Okay, that's the pulpy stuff. You want that out of your soup. You don't want pulpy stuff in your soup. We're going to bring all of our ingredients together. Something I always do is I always temper my roux. So to temper your roux, you take a little of the stock 
and your roux should be a little bit warm or it should be warm from when you cooked it. Take some of your stock and incorporate it into your roux so that it looks kind of like this, a nice pasty, pasty, pasty. Again, we're tempering the roux. Gonna add a couple more. It's gonna go like that. Look how beautiful our roux is. So now you're not gonna worry about any kind of lumps or anything in your soup. Your soup is going to be just beautiful. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and we're gonna add our roux. Have your whip inside your soup when you add your roux. My soup is very hot, and you want your soup to be very hot when you add your roux. It'll take about a minute or so to kind of thicken up. Use all the roux. Even little flyaway pieces. <laughs> Once your roux, your excuse me. Once your stock is simmering nicely and it's starting to thicken a bit, you're going to add some milk. And I'm going to start off with a half a cup. And I'm just going to go ahead and bring it together, which means just kind of whip it together and let it come back to a nice little simmer. It's starting to come back together. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add the rest of the milk. That was one total cup, but I put a half a cup and then I put another cup. Just milk. You can do this without milk, but it won't have your richness. It's coming together nicely. And you're just going to give it a blow. Mm. Oh, that's really delicious. Now is the secret. The roasted asparagus spears and ends. It's delicious. You want to make it fancy, leave a couple out to garnish. Other than that, drop it right in. While it's simmering, if you like, you can put a Danish blue cheese, or I have a, a very nice Parmigiano Reggiano. That is how you make asparagus soup, real asparagus soup. Whenever you have all those ends, We'll toss them out, save them, and make this. It's super good and easy. This soup, if you thicken it up a little bit more with maybe another tablespoon of roux, it'll thicken up enough that you can use it as a sauce on your pasta. Pretty good. Not everybody enjoys blue cheese, or I would put it in the asparagus soup, because it is really, really tasty, but it's a very acquired taste. So, if you don't want to turn off a lot of your fans, don't put it inside. But have it available. So this is what I recommend. You put it at the bottom of your bowl. You take some of your soup. Put that right in there. can see how gorgeous this is. And then you'll take a couple pieces of asparagus, drop it on top, and that's it. That's your soup. And then give it a taste.
take that blue cheese, kind of twirl it around. This is super, super delicious. Mm. The asparagus and blue cheese go together like bad peanut butter and good jelly. I don't know, but it's really good if you like blue cheese and asparagus. Mm. It's a soup, so it shouldn't be too thick. Um, this is the perfect consistency. Some people like their soups a little bit thicker. I get that. So you can add a little bit more roux if you want to make another tablespoon of roux. But it shouldn't, it should be held together nicely like this. Also, as your soup cools, your soup is going to get thick. So you'll get some thickness one way or another. This soup is super, super delicious. Mm. Mm. I don't just say these things. It's true. This is super delicious. Mm. Okay. Thumbs up. Subscribe. Leave a comment. And I will try to make your recipe or your idea next. See you later.